Welcome back to the side of Havoc here, and we are back on Project Ozone 2, playing a little more Kappa mode. And as you can see, I got some stuff done in the meantime. Uh, apparently, I had a lot in those storage drawers over there, because I ended up having to do four ME drives. Now, most of these are at least 4K. Uh, I think I have one 1K left, or maybe a couple over here. I've got a couple over here, too. But I've got a lot of 4Ks. I've got a whole bunch of 16Ks, and I even got up to 164K. Uh, yeah, I had a lot of stuff over there. Like you can kind of see, um, if I do it by number of items and do this, some of the things started getting out of control. Like I've got 355,000 of this Electrotine, which would be cool if it had, you know, I didn't even look. Um, I don't know if the Electrotine has, uh, EMC, but if it does, oh, it does. Cool. 64 each. So that's a lot of EMC that I can use for that. Uh, once I get to Project E and uh, what do you want to call it? Um, uh, there we go. Um, once we get to Project E or Equivalent Exchange, whatever you know, whatever you know it by. So we'll have a lot of stuff there to use uh, for EMC and stuff. But kind of show you what's going on and what we've got going. I uh, didn't do too much. I did upgrade the inscriber to the advanced inscriber. So now I can do the solid blocks and get nine each per. So that's actually pretty cool. And this thing is just so much faster because I dropped four speed upgrades in it. I, I think I can put one more, but I put four speed upgrades in it and it pumps them out pretty darn quick. Now, let me tell you about my, my journey last night as I was reorganizing stuff and kind of getting ready to start doing some crafting and whatnot. Um, I had made the interface and then I made my molecular assembler and then realized I probably need to do an ME controller because I'm already kind of maxing out on items that are on the network. This guy right here, let me take you down the rabbit hole that was the ME controller, right? So generally speaking, it was pretty simple. I had already prepped and ready some uh, cloud seed. I had been milking a cow for actually, no, I take that back. I used the vat to make the cloud seed. Um, so I made a whole bunch of cloud seed and I've got that in a uh, bedrock cream barrel. These guys are super simple. The pure flux crystals is why that over there is set back up again. And the machine frame just takes a minute. It's just going through all the levels of frames and stuff like that. Super easy, right? Skystone, I just went to the mining world, got some Skystone, and made the Skystone block by cooking it up. Then I got to these guys. Osmium crystals, right? So I was like, okay, I need a chemical crystallizer with uh, some clean osmium slurry. I'm like, all right, cool. So I just made the chemical uh, crystallizer, assuming maybe I had a cow that had some clean osmium slurry. That wasn't the case. So then I was like, okay, well, how do I make this? So in a chemical washer... You can take some osmium slurry and some water, and that gives you the clean. Cool, not a problem. No cows with osmium slurry. So I made the chemical washer, and I was like, okay, how do I make osmium slurry? That's when I needed this chemical dissolution chamber where I take sulfuric acid plus an osmium ore, and that makes osmium slurry. Okay, how do I make sulfuric acid? Oh, I gotta make a chemical infuser and make some water vapor and sulfur trioxide. Now the water vapor is pretty easy. I had to make this uh, condenser or condensentrator and deconcentrator turn water into water vapor. That was actually pretty easy. <sighs> but as you can see, it just keeps going. Then I had to make the sulfur trioxide. Well, sulfur trioxide is made from oxygen and sulfur dioxide. Well, I was like, okay, sulfur dioxide. How do I make that? Oh, a chemical oxidizer. So I made this guy and threw some sulfur dusting. Got that. That was, that was you know, pretty simple. Then I got to this oxygen issue. And I could not, for the life of me, figure out how to make oxygen. Because it says you can put it in the condenser by putting some liquid oxygen. I did. It did not work. I, made, I took my cow, pumped it full of liquid oxygen. It did not make oxygen. So I was like, all right, well, what else can I do? Oh, okay. So I had to make electrolytic blah, 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 separator. Cool. Easy enough. And then that basically you pump in some heavy water, but there's no recipe for heavy water. So if you don't have the heavy water cow, I'm sorry, you got to look. Oh, I didn't even notice this. Water gives you <laughs> hydrogen and oxygen. <sighs> I wish I would have seen that. It's okay. I had the heavy water, so it's no big deal. And then, uh, so yeah, so needless to say, uh, it took a while. 
but I've got all the machines lined up here. I figured the storage drawers were gone. And so now it's kind of like a chain of events. Um, as you can see, I've got a tank full of something here. Oh, uh, deuterium. It was the byproduct from putting the heavy water in here. So I got that in oxygen. And then I pumped the oxygen, I don't know, into one of these machines. And then this is the one I put the sulfur in and got the uh, sulfur dioxide. Then I pumped the sulfur dioxide into, not this one, because that turned it into liquid form. I think I pumped it in, yeah, into here, along with this water vapor that I made. And that gave me the sulfuric acid. Sulfuric acid then goes in here and you put the osmium ore, I think it was, yeah. And that makes the osmium slurry. Then that automatically goes into this machine where I can add the water and that made clean osmium slurry and then that pumped into this machine and as you can see i've got seven crystals sitting there waiting for me so it took a while that was one heck of a rabbit hole that if i would have tried to record that i would have been going insane and would have had some major issues i just i would not have been a happy camper but it's okay because that led to what we're doing today now that we've got that and we've got the controller i really want to start getting into crafting right uh, but before I get to crafting, like I was showing you, I'm getting some insane numbers, which is okay. I'm okay with having a whole bunch of this stuff, but I wanted, I think I had to mention to you guys that I wanted to change my farm up a little bit and switch over to um, harvesters because I believe they're a little bit quicker. And so basically I'm starting to set up a whole bunch of three by three farms, right? Now this is kind of fun. I'm going to show you. I got the, the ring of Loki. Um, I believe I told you guys that I got that one. And so what I did was I made the master ring, which I'm wearing right here, the ring of Essier. But you have the um, ability of Loki, which is they call him the trickster. And so what I can do is say I put a block here, here. I'm just going to go down the row and finish my build real quick to kind of show you what I've been doing. And there and there, right? Now, let's say I empty my hand and I set this as my target block. So that one matches this one in the build and this one 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 and Mr. Creeper, you don't mess with me. You either. You're not really part of this, but I still don't want you messing with me. All right. And this one. Now check this out. This is where it's really, really cool. If I select him and then I put those blocks in my hand, if I hold shift and press it, it places them in all those spots corresponding. So watch how fast I can now build my farms. Super quick. Oh, well this one, I was in the way. And now the farms are all built. Um, apparently that one didn't work. Okay. So yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. If I'm doing anything relatively repetitious, I can just basically go through and just duplicate at the same time. And that just saves me. Well, in this specific instance, it didn't save me a whole bunch of time, but um, when I went, first started building these, it really did. And so those are all done now. So what I'm going to do is put up a whole bunch of harvesters here and we're going to start kind of going out on both sides and just creating an awesome farm. That's what we're doing. So right now we're going to go build ourselves some harvesters. I should have most of the material, so it shouldn't take too long. I don't believe. Let us see. Creating the first one. Harvester right there. Uh, plastic should be super easy. So let's make up a couple shears. I know I can make seven right now, one, two, because I made seven of the other, oh, I'll show it to you in just a second. Um, I made seven of these guys, so I know I can make seven of these. So I'm going to need seven of these and basically just mass produce these harvesters really quick and get that all set up. Um, I'm going to need 14 of these. Um, that's nine. I'm just going to fill my spots here. Uh, let's see. That's nine. That, that'll give me 14. Boop. Oh, cool. Shift clicking only gives me one at a time. That's actually cool. I thought that that was going to mass shift click them in. So, and gold's easy. Plastic should be easy. And we got everything else. So we should be able to create seven of these. And we did. Good things are coming. Now I'm also going to need trash cans 
to handle the uh, sludge from the Sludge Brothers. I have two, so I'm going to need five more. Um, I don't know if I can make these. What am I missing? Stone, colored, chest. It's all there. Does it have to be vanilla cobble? That would suck if it did, but uh, compressed cobble. Let me just ah bust those out. Oh, what achievement did I get? Oh, the harvest. Oh, cool. All right, so let's get a whole bunch of that. And apparently that's updated now. There we go. So let's see if we can get five of these real quick. I don't think I'm gonna need any of these blocks for the moment. Um, I don't want to shift click, so we'll just do five, seven of those. Okay, cool. And let's go get this started. Um, what is my first seed? Oh, my netherrack seeds. That's gonna be the first one. Um, wither? No, nether. Nether star seeds. What's this? Nether star seeds, 10, 10, one, one. Oh, I have four of those. I only need four. But I need my draconium right there. I'm going to have five extra slots. What is something else really, really useful? No, I'll just do my own farm. Um, I will just do these for right now. And let's go to the last millennium. Here we go. Hey, I clicked. Okay. So, yes, and then I've got all the sprinklers and stuff, so I can just basically put one sprinkler above each one of these. And then I've got my power running through here right now. I'll end up moving all that around and stuff like that. But for right now, let us use the proper tool. I hate not using the proper tools. It just bothers me. All right, so let's do one. Oh, you know what? I don't need to pick up the dirt. What I need to do is put the draconium under. All right, so we'll just do it right here, like so. So one, two, three, and four. Cool. So now the draconium's there, and then I can just plop the harvesters down, like so, like so. There we go. Oh, I've got to retorch this area, obviously. You guys should be spawning in my mob farm, not out here. Go away. All right, cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish getting this set up, at least for my first seven crops. Um, the My problem is I don't have enough zombie heads to make any more of the... Yeah, there we go. Just shoot him and make him go away. I don't have enough zombie heads to make enough of the... Um, oh, whatever those things are called. Yeah, the, the one I told you I already made seven of. The... The thing you make in the slice and splice. So I'm going to go ahead and get the farm set up and at least get, well, maybe I can kill another zombie and make all eight over here. Hiya! Did I get a zombie head? Ha <laughs> ha, I did. Cool. So yeah, I'm going to get this all set up and then we'll come back and see how the farm's operating and we'll see how good it's producing stuff. So we'll be right back. Right now, what I've got to do is just farming the essences straight. And I was debating on putting like a... Uh, Oh, what are those things called? Uh, the storage drawers that compact, the compacting drawers. I was thinking about doing compacting drawers. So then they would go into a compacting drawer, um, get made into the wither or nether stars, the ender pearls, the, you know, the iron and stuff like that. But I thought I could actually set that up in the overworld with um, the compactor that I have been using along with some import export buses. Cause right now I've only have eight. So that's actually pretty simple um, to just kind of leave them as is uh, because eight can be easily done with just one uh, import, one export bus and basically doing it into the compactor. So I may end up doing that. But I did leave two of these open <clears throat> because now that we're into applied energistics, I want to get uh, some pure, I was noticing that the pure fluix and the pure um, quartz. I don't know if I can do it with the quartz, but... I know these ones I can make with a regular Certus Quartz and uh, wrapped around it gives me two pure Certus Quartz. But I can also make these, I believe, with Essence. Oh, I can't make these with Essence. Okay. But I can make the pure with Essence. What else is this stuff used for? Oh, so this gives me a block or four blocks of Certus Quartz. Wow, that's kind of crazy. And then I can make the pure fluids with that. And then the fluix is the same thing. It's fluix crystal around all of that. 
and then that's also used oh that's it that's it oh it already just gives you four so all of them together gives you four flux crystals or all wrapped around one flux crystal gives you four flux. okay that's really cool but we need to go make those seeds real quick so that's what we're going to go do right now oops is uh go make some of these seeds now the flux if i remember correctly was easy um Oh, I'm gonna have to make it over there because all of my uh, stones are in the last millennium. <clears throat> but I know we're gonna need to make a couple flukes blocks, which are like this, right? Just four. Is it eight in here? Oh, it is eight. Okay, so we need four of these because we can make these with Batania, and I don't. Well, let's grab a couple stacks just to make sure because I'm going to need the blue one and then I got to make two of the Certus Quartz because two Certus Quartz is what makes uh, one or like one Certus Quartz is four Certus Quartz and then one I need uh, for the uh, Fluix one. So let us see. Did I? I did. Oh, thank goodness. That's Charger Square. I need one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. I need 16 of these, right? Or is it five? I don't know. We'll throw 20 in and see what happens. I have to make uh, compressed Certus Quartz and so, or uh, Certus Quartz blocks. Uh, not it's compressed, uh, dense. That's it. Dense is the word I'm looking for. So those should turn into dense Certus Quartz. Are they already there? Search quartz ore. Do I have to go find dense? Uh, yeah, here they are right here. Dense search quartz ore, dense charge search quartz. Can I make these? Yeah, I can. Five search quartz ore gives me one dense. Didn't I just do that? I'm pretty sure I just did that. Does it take a minute? Is my pressure up? Why is my pressure so low? Am I out of LPG? Oh, that's not good. Oh, you know why? I switched this over. Son of a gun. Okay, I got to grab my oil cow. I put the heavy water in that random tank when I was trying to um, do all that stuff the other day. And uh, drum. I need the heavy water one. Sears stone, resident ender, oil drum. Liquid... Uh, Cloud C, where is my heavy water drum? It's not still over here, is it? <clears throat> I leave stuff all over the place. Uh, heavy water, no, heavy water went down like here, here? No, it was in here. Where's my heavy water drum? It's not connected. Where did I leave you? Where did I leave my heavy water drum? Have no pressure all right i'm gonna go find my heavy water drum so that i can start pumping oil back in and get some lpg uh going into the system and uh then we will be right back uh, all right guys so i've got everything running now um the the oil is now back up and running and so i'm getting my lpg running everything else now and uh, i just had to come back here to go get the essences that we needed for um the botania stuff so i've got eight of the crucio so i can make two of the surface court seeds and then i've got four imperio which we take with these fluids crystals and uh make the fluid seeds so let us go do that right now um you are getting essence good so i've got the seeds oh yeah i just need to put them on so it should be seeds for these and for these Good, and then we're good to go there. And do I have any stone in here? I do, one, two. Shouldn't take too long. I would think these are probably pretty quick. I just uh, shot in the dark here, but that's my assumption. Um, let me grab my wand. And I'll just put these here for right now. And there you go, it's ready. So we'll put the stone up there. Ah, the stinking magnet. There we go. Put you 
put you there and bingo bango perfect um that's not what i wanted to do why did you guys why did you do that to me um fortunately i've got my silk touch pickaxe here so that's not a huge issue there we go let's try that again let's put some seeds up first maybe that helps there we go much better nope not you you <clears throat> and we'll get these done really quick oh you know what i'm gonna need one more living stone for the fluix one i guess i can put my axe back there it's pretty quick not too long on these ones the the higher level stuff takes a little bit of time but it's not too bad but um the the lower level ones aren't bad at all so all right so then we put those seeds there one two three four one two three four and did i not grab those seeds where did the other seeds go where where did the other service court seeds go Oh, they're right there. How did I not get those? I don't know. All right. And I like to stand on the flower just in case this needs uh, <clears throat> mana. Just seems to work for me. And that one's almost done there. And then I'll end up getting these to 10, 10, 10 as well. But for right now, we're just kind of rocking and rolling with what we got. That's that. And that's that. Cool. So we've got those. Um, let's go plant these. Um, yeah, I guess I can just put the stuff back down. Those seeds there. Get my stuff orga organized here. There we go. Back to the last millennium. And this should be pretty good to go. All right. So coming over here, these are going to be Certus Quartz. These are going to be Fluix. And off camera, I'll end up 10 10 10 them. Just because it takes a while. There's no way that I'm going to spend that kind of time um, on camera right now. And, you know, honestly, it, it may not. I mean, I like to have the best of, you know, the best I can for, of stuff. But at the same time, is it really necessary to have all 10, 10, 10? As much as I'm mass producing stuff, I don't know if it's really necessary. But, I mean, if I can and I've got the time, why not, right? So, just get this farm filled up real quick. I hate having extra, so I'm hoping this uses all eight. Ha! Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, cool. And you are already been farming this one. Good job, farm. You're doing your job. Nope, that didn't work. All right, cool. So, anyways, I'll leave this. I'll come back. Like I said, I'm going to come back and end up 10-10-10-10-10-10-10-10-10-10-10-10-10-10-10-10-10-10-10-10-10-10-10-10-10-10-10-10-10-10-10-10-10-10-10-10-10-10-10-10-10-10-10-10-10-10-10-10-10-10-
So if I put you right here, that should be good to go. And then I just want a storage, like maybe a 4K. Um, one of these guys. Uh, that's 64K. 4K crafting. That's all I want right there. So I got to make another one of these, which is good. And then I just have to make a 4K, which is I need three of these, which means I need three of these. One, two, three. Because I really want to get into auto crafting. Um, and, you know, it's just, it, it's time. It's time to get going on auto crafting. And that should be good to go. There we go. And now I just put these two together. And now we got 4K. Okay, cool. And now I can craft. Um, I'm going to put you here for right now. So now, like, I only have one crafting recipe done. So let us see. Let's do a numbers because I know it's the one. I only have one. There we go. I can craft that. Next. Start. And boom. It went away. So if I numbers. Oh, it just. <laughs> Uh, pattern let me make like I don't know let's let's try to make 20 of these uh, I already have <clears throat> one so let us make 19 more I don't have enough quartz glass so let's make a pattern for quartz glass that is actually a craftable so that works um, and now I'm just gonna and this is basically what I'm gonna be spending a lot of time doing um, oh, so let me go to the pattern one. Pattern terminal. There we go. Got you there. Uh, quartz. Glass. Not Don't need vibrant. There we go. And we're going to make it a lot of substitution so it can use any of the materials. And there we go. We've got that. And then I can go here and put that in there. And now I should be able to make up the 20 of these are the 19 more that I wanted. Although now I've got 20 of them. <laughs> I just used one. So I have no quartz class, but patterns are done. There we go. Now we've got 19 of them. And so now I can really get started on uh, the auto crafting and stuff like that. Now that that is all set. There is a machine and I don't know if it's part of applied energistics. There's a way to like, if you don't have the items already, you can kind of pull them from here. I want to find that machine, but I don't know how feasible that is at the moment. Uh, you know, I'm going to look for it real quick. Um, is it under pattern? It's, I think this is it. Pattern encoder. That's the one. Um, I've got everything for that. Oh, I, yeah, I've got that. Um, this one, wait, what? Come on, there we go. Ah! Oh, look at that. I can make two more right now. Like, so, missing quite clear glass. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna have to start getting all of this stuff tied in and uh, get all that done. Let's go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and make this encoder though just so we can do it and then we're going to be uh, finishing up today so I need um, some sand so I can go make some quite clear glass real quick and then I'm going to have to start setting up I don't know it, uh, this is probably going to move uh, off closer to the applied energistic stuff just so I don't have to run a lot of cabling but we'll see so I can tie all these in and uh, get that going <clears throat> but it's I think it's a good setup so far. Um, I'm I'm happy with it. That first of all, I'm happy that we got to the uh, uh, applied energistics so quickly. I feel like we got there pretty quickly. But then at the same time, when I tore down those storage drawers, I had a ton of stuff already. So maybe it wasn't that quick. Maybe I, I I'm not doing as good as I thought I was. But you know, I'm I'm happy with the outcomes as it is right now. Um, I'm happy the way things are going. And I'm happy with the direction. Next episode, I definitely want to start getting back more into, um, let's see. Uh, oh, no, I already made the recipe for that. Um, what was I trying to do? Oh, the, the panel. 
Uh, PA. It's the illumination panel. Why can't I think of what I'm looking for? Um, this one right here. Illuminated panel. Yeah, there we go. So, I oh yeah. I Didn't I just put the quite clear, clear glass in here? That's what that is, right? Oh, no, that's quartz glass. Okay. So, let's make that up real quick. Just make some. Cool. <laughs> that way I can make this. Uh, recipe right here like so put that in here so I'm gonna have to spend a lot of time um, in between episodes I'm gonna go start building a couple uh, uh, assembly towers up here this platform is obviously gonna get a lot bigger but for right now it is what it is so now I can craft up one of these which I think it's gonna give me three anyways so that's not too bad and then I need a uh, crafting table. So let's make that real quick. I hate that it's got all these alternative recipes that it doesn't want to do. Cool. And then encoder. There you are right there. And now I can make you. And now we've got the pattern encoder. And this guy, I think. Can I put you right here? Yes, I can. Cool. And it faces this way. So what this guy does, this is really cool. I can just kind of grab, like if this is what I want to make, I can just, I think it's shift and click or, uh, oh no, that's right. I can just shift it in here and then I can just put the patterns in here like this and do it without having any of the stuff. That is really, really cool. I like that thing a lot. And so we're going to get some good use out of that thing as well. Um, as I'm trying to remember all the recipes of stuff I want to make and start making more uh, interfaces so we can get going on that. So you guys, I hope you're really enjoying, um, I I'm having a blast and you know, as a matter of fact, we got a couple of achievements today. I don't remember which ones they were, but we got a couple, uh, no, it's not beta cause beta is done. Um, I do want to get into the pseudo inversion sigil, but I've got to go get a collection of items. It's the discs I think that I'm short on. So we'll have to look into that, but let's, let's, let's do our loot chest here. I don't need any more hearts. Um, I guess I can just claim that anymore on this page. Nope. And nothing on that page. Uh, we, yep, we did the harvester today. So we got that achievement. And how about Etta? Oh, yes. I made that last night, the uh, advanced inscriber. So we've got that now. And now I wonder why I don't have credit for these. Oh, you know what? Because I didn't do any of this stuff. Um, why? Hold on. You know, I'm not worried about it. We'll do, I'll, I'll check that in the off time. Hopefully I don't have to make another four of them because obviously I'm doing stuff out of order and trying to speed up the process. So as you can see, I've already, I haven't made a growth chamber. Ooh, a growth chamber. <gasps> Ooh. So I don't have to have those. That'd be nice. Uh, silicon circuits, we've always made them. Uh, pattern GUI did it. Uh, Flux cables, obviously. ME interface have it. Um, storage bus, no, not yet, but I've got the import bus and the export bus. We've got the, so we've already done a lot of these and I'm still going to have to do a lot more. So we'll, we'll reopen those and get those done. I do want to start getting into RF tools and that might be what I start looking at in the next episode because RF tools is just amazing and I can make a dimension full of dragons, which if you guys have ever seen my Sky Factory 2 series, that's what I did. And I had so much fun with that. But let's see what we got. Uh, we've got tinted glass. Yeah, that was crap. I like how that one was actually called crap. Crap. Lights. Yeah, I don't need those. Something good. Plain. Smashing rock, cloud in a bottle, and ball of moss. Yeah, I've gotten worse, so it's not horrible. But anyways, travelers, if you guys enjoyed today's episode, please don't hesitate to hit that thumbs up button. And any questions, comments, concerns, or things that you think I should be, directions that you guys want to see uh, me head in. Um, you know, mods that you want to see me touch on that I haven't touched much on, uh, let me know down in the comments, guys. I really, you know, I've told you so many times before, I love interacting with you guys. So if you guys have got something for me, let me know. But until next time, travelers, I am Slaughter Havoc and I am out of here. Peace.